Unbound is a sexual wellness company, and our whole goal is to really destigmatize female sexuality. How exactly would it work? We have a subscription offering, it's quarterly, and then our biggest channel is just our direct to consumers. Tell me about the subscription box. So each box has a theme to it. This quarter's theme, for example, is massage. It always has a retail value of over 100, but it's only $65. What made you decide to start Unbound? I went through cancer and radiation treatment kind of catapulted me into menopause at a really young age, I was 21. And none of my doctors talked to me about it. They just said, you know, you'll never have kids. That must have been terrifying. Cancer is brutal. I mean, it's kind of, it's basically like your body shuts down and our, our treatment for it is to basically kill everything that's growing in your body. And so I think you feel weak. You certainly do not feel sexy. And I think for a lot of women, you lose all sense of libido and, and sexual desire. So that was the first time I kind of realized how marginalized female sexuality is. We created Unbound basically because we just wanted there to be a destination where women could read about this information and shop and actually feel good about it. It's also part of this larger movement of mm -hmm. sex tech, which I find fascinating given that technology, and as long as I've been covering it, has been so predominantly male. The women of sex tech, specifically the organization, started really organically. We'd go to these trade shows and realize that like it was almost entirely men and initially we would just get together and kind of commiserate and then it just started to grow. Women started to realize that there were a lot of opportunities within sexual health and wellness for companies that were solving real problems that women were having. What is the business case for uh, sexual wellness and sexual health when it comes to technology? As the barriers to starting a business, especially in e-commerce, have gotten lower, there are more and more women who are able to kind of you know, start businesses and solve problems, whether it's through hardware and products, or whether it's through education websites. Do you guys have an advertising model at all? Facebook and Instagram actually don't allow us to advertise, which is frustrating because condom companies can, and there's still a lot of institutional barriers to starting a sex tech company. Bank accounts get shut down all the time, insurance, companies won't give you a policy. It certainly seems like women are having a moment. You look at the Women's March, you look at what's happened with the Me Too movement. How does that play into this moment? As humans, we have to have like kind of this like autonomy of self. And so I think one of the remaining frontiers is this ability to really have independence and autonomy over your body. And I think that that's relative to women's rights and, and the right to choose what to do with your body as well as the right to enjoy it. Where does this go? My dream is for Unbound to manifest itself as a, as a company that champions experiences that are uniquely terrible for female health and wellness. And so if you can create a physical place where women can give each other permission through these discussions and also can you know share and learn about their sexuality and their bodies as well as you know get tested for STDs and pick up their birth control and do things like that that's going to be an incredibly powerful experience and it would be something that was actually like fun that you look forward to doing